Okay, we are on the elaborate section for this part of the lesson, or this part of the credit for uh, lesson 4.1. We're asked to extend our thinking, and really what they're trying to do is give you a preview for what we're going to learn uh, in the next uh, section of this credit, right? And so they want us to find, or they want, they tell us that angle 1 is 135, 135 degrees, and then with that knowledge in hand, they want us to find the rest of the angles. Now, um, you can ask your math teacher this, but I really don't think we have enough information here to prove anything more than angles 1, 2, 3, and 4, right? We're going to learn in a later part of this credit that the only way we can find the angle measures of 5, 6, 7, and 8 is to know beforehand that these two lines, right, this line here and this line here, are parallel. Right now we are not told that. We don't have the proper symbols. I just erased the symbol, but if, if there were these little arrows on the lines, we would know that they are parallel. And that relationship would tell us uh, the relationship between 1, 2, 3, and 4, along with 5, 6, 7, and 8. But we are not given that information. So unfortunately, we won't be able to, to find the angle measures of 5, 6, 7, and 8 uh, or explain how to get 8 because we just don't have enough information. However, we can find 1, 2, 3, and 4, right? Because 1 and 4 are vertical angles, so this is 135. And then 1 and 2 are a linear pair, and they're supplementary, which means that this is 45 degrees. And, and 2 and 3 are vertical from each other, so this is 45 degrees. So what you can find is that 135, angle 1 is 135, angle 3 is 45, angle 2 is also 45, and angle 4 is 135 but unfortunately, folks, we just don't have enough information for 5, 6, 7, and 8. And by that measure, how to find uh, the measure of angle 8 with the information that we're given.